This video shows how to uh, send emails in emails in HTML uh, converted text from a email from an Excel file uh, and how to convert formatted uh, formatted text from a text field into HTML so that it's that it may run in uh, in as an email. So what I show you there is my, it's my link for my download site where I have a template and I'm going to show you this on my template, <coughs> how it works. So this is the file and we have here demo 49 uh, and it's a simple list where you may tag your uh, fields, your emails, which, which you may send. This is the big email block and that's the sending status after sending uh, you may say that you may uh, see it as a preview or uh, send it uh, at once uh, as soon as it goes uh, sending via outlook so we have here uh, a small list and inside this field is uh, if you have attachments several attachments that's uh, this is the email where you're from, what's your name, your uh, name, and that's the subject. And here you have CC uh, emails and you have uh, individual attachments in this case, where you may simply drop your uh, file, which you have there. And then you have uh, different columns with uh, column headers where you may uh, place some replacements in runtime. So what we have here is on a on that uh, worksheet with under, underscore text is an RTF converted uh, text. So what you do there is you have a text there like this one. You may uh, write something in there. You may take it from uh, from Word or type it in Word and drop it in there. And when you, whenever you're there, uh, you may be able to make it, for example, formatted here. That's for RTF block. RTF uh, means for formatted text, text formatted, rich text formatted, that's the word. So you may uh, do some changings in here for something something like this. I don't need it like this in the moment. Uh, so you have a simple template in here. And now when you do, I first go, I'm going to run it. Uh, you say send emails. Now where's my email? Outlook. That's my email, which I've created now. You see that's nearly the same what we have had in the program. And there's all, also an individual attachment in there and the name is replaced. <clears throat> so what we did there, now there's a second mail. And I said here, uh, that's a preview. For shall means preview. You may select it or change the name for that code. Uh, and now we come to the code side. And it, uh, by the way, whenever you have problems with this, please contact me and my uh, uh, in our company. Uh, I may do professional work for uh, professional encoding in Visual Basic for applications, VBA, Office programs, C Sharp, uh, ASP.NET Core, uh, Web Blazor, and so on, uh, and SharePoint, whatever you want. So now we can with Alt. F11, we come to the code side and in the code side, we see that's now more interesting for the uh, developers. Inside there, we're, we're going re to read, we create an HTML text and then we read inside the text field. That's a text field. It's called sheet underscore text shapes. That's a text shape. It's always text boxes are always shapes. And inside there is a text frame two and a text range and all characters inside. And each, each character, which is in there, now go on, go on, go on. When we're on the front side and we start running that point, then you will see that when we have a look on that text range, shift F9, then we have a text in there and inside there there are a lot of characters you may don't you don't see this uh, at the moment uh, so this will be uh, but inside there uh, what you see there you have a font 
we have inside the font we have bold character you have the uh, the size font size it's somewhere there font size and what the program does now is it reads all that stuff and it uh, creates the color it ca calculates the color it ca calculate it if it's bold and all that stuff and it replaces a uh, character turn to a break uh, line character in html then it creates an html and then it then it uh, stops all that stuff it coll uh, collects all that stuff at the final block and that's it and then it creates an ad attachment in outlook in outlook a header email and so on that's the email code and what you see there is uh, you may do all that stuff take the download from my website i've uh, i've shown you on in my site on here that's uh, demo 49 if you have quest questions uh, call me simple list and if you like it make a thumb button on like uh, on the um, on YouTube